What's going on everybody? David here from Lucas Videos and Toys and today we are going to be taking a look at the Jurassic World Dominion Release and Rampage Pack. Now this is a pretty good set, looking set should I say, and I've had this for a while so I'm just now getting around to it. And so it comes with the Atrociraptor Ghost and Sonia Santos and this is the packaging of what it looks like. And I really do like the packaging, especially when it comes with the uh, a backdrop cardboard that you can save, you know, for display or whatever it is that you have in mind for it. And so then here on the back of the packaging is the art render or prototypes that are photographed to be used for the packaging. And it just gives you a, a brief detail on how to use the canister that it comes with for the Atrociraptors. So, very cool. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this thing. Alright, so here is the cool little cardboard backdrop that we get, and this is supposed to represent the city of Malta, the, the ruins, or whatever you want to call it. And, um, this is kind of where they do all the, uh, the, the trade, you know, the underground trades and stuff. So, very cool little backdrop. The only thing that could present a problem for people trying to take photography for, or use this for fake photography and whatnot, is the, uh, scan code information that's, like, plastered right there in the middle of the backdrop. But other than that, aside from that, that's it's a very cool little little backdrop and stuff. And there is everything that's included in this set. We've got the canister, ghost, Sonia Santos, and a couple of her accessories. So let's go ahead and start looking at these one by one. And we're gonna be taking a look at Sonia Santos first and and along with her little accessories, so Santos, so, uh, yuck. <laughs> Sonia Santos was portrayed by Deechin Lockman, and she's also she's been in a lot of TV series, as well, including the Agents of Shield. So she comes with two accessories, and this is I believe this is her shock stick, and it's got a lot of little details here. Let me see. Second to focus on that. Maybe just backgrounds. There we go. <laughs> so this does have a lot of detail to it. The molding does. And looks like it's got a little bit of paint right there. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. But then you got the different molding right here. So I'm get, I believe this was cast in this color plastic but they just painted the uh, the other half black. <clears throat> so very cool little details all around. And then we have the controller, very small piece. This is the controller that they used, uh, or she used to control the Atrociraptors with. It's a very nice little detail. It would be cool if she had a little sticker right there. Uh, that would have been cool. So here is Sonia Santos. So we can get a good. There we go. <laughs> so not a bad likeness. Uh, the lip, the lipstick coloring is a little off. You know. When it comes to facial features, for the most part, they do a good job with it, especially on smaller figures like this. 
but when it comes to like eye detail or lips or anything like that sometimes it's a hit or miss but I do like the hair I do like the outfit so everything about her looks good as far as the outfit goes I just wish that she had a more of a bigger role in the film you know her and uh Rain Delacourt should have had a bigger part, you know, in the film. In my opinion. But as far as way of articulation goes, the head does not move very much at all because of the hair that gets in the way. Because you can't get no up and down movement at all. But the arms are on a hinge and swivel. So it goes it outwards, up and down like this, forwards and backwards. And then the elbow is also on a single hinge there. And as far as the legs go, for barely get any forwards or backwards movement because of the outfit and how this is in the way. So but you can do a little you can do the splits to go out this way. But you can't really go too far because this will hinder it. But you do got a single knee at the hinge. That's about it. There's no waist articulation. Or yes, there is. It's just underneath the plastic. I'm surprised it was able to move fairly easy like that. Cool. And let's go ahead and do some comparisons and we have Sonia along with her uh, running mate Rain Delacourt like I said uh, I really wish they, that they had a bigger role in the film so I think their time was cut short in my opinion and then once uh, uh, spoilers if y'all hadn't watched the film but once uh, she got caught, you know, then you didn't even see her afterwards. And that was it. There was no explanation as to why or where she was taken or whatnot. So we would have liked to have seen uh, a little bit more from her from her and uh, Rain. Next up, we have uh, a Trociraptor ghost in, with his canister. And this is the canister that it came with. Packed with detail. Love the the weathering, how they put this, you know, put on the the sides and stuff, like like it was old and scratch barked up and whatnot. So there's the front of it, it's the sides or the other side. Very nice detail. I do want to get three more because there are four Atrociraptors that came in these canisters, so would like to one day eventually pick up three more of these and this is the opening where you can just slide that up and put your raptor in there I'm pretty sure you can put any small dinosaur especially raptors in these so like I said love the detailing of this Set that aside. And here we have Ghost. So this is the, I think, I believe, lead, uh, the leader of the pack, Ghost. And let's go ahead and get that scan for y'all. There we go. So there is the fact set for y'all. But I do love the detail on this raptor. Now, truss raptors were a little bit bigger than regular raptors. I think they were, quote me if I'm wrong, you know, or don't, <laughs> or whatever I'm supposed to be saying. But I believe these were, um, 
No, I don't. Uh, it's been such a long time since I did any research on these. So I don't want to get my information out wrong. But um, but these were real things. They were really atrociraptors back in the day. And um, But anyways, so I think originally for the film they were going to use Deinonychus as the uh, the villains raptors but I think they decided to go ahead and go with the uh, the Atrocity raptors instead and you could tell that they're a little different just judging by the head sculpt and by the snout it's a little bit more uh, rounded out a little bit so but yeah the these guys are packed with detail you know, especially with the, the knees right there, the hind legs. You can see all the uh, muscle structures. And I really do like the plastic, uh, the white plastic that they use for it. And you can see all these little flax that are all throughout the figure and everything. <clears throat> the claws, the feet, the arms. Every little detail, the neck, and I like to how they have the uh, the folding in the neck right here in the back of the the head, and all the wrinkles right there, and then the head is packed with detail as well. The eyes that look good. And let's see if the eye is on point on this one. It looks to believe like it is on point. There and actually let's see if we can't get it closer. Look at the head sculpt, there we go. So it looks like the eyes looks good right there. And then over here, yep, it looks like it's on point right there. I think it looks better on this side than it is on that one. Just because you can actually tell where the center is. But anyways. But yeah, so the... There, teeth look good. So as far as way of articulation, you know, the tail goes all the way around. The legs go forwards and backwards. The arms go forwards and backwards. And then the head and neck is on the hinge and swivel. So you can turn your head all the way around. It goes up and down. It's, it's on a hinge. So you can't go all the way back. That's about as far as you go because of the molding right there. And then going down like there. And then as far as the jaw goes, you know. Open up all the way like that. Right there. And that is it. So let's go ahead and do some size comparisons. Before we do that, I wanted to demonstrate how you can put your raptor in here. You just open that slot in, and then when you put it in, you'll have some room to where you can have the tail hanging out. As you can tell, you know, you can go pretty far with it, you know. And then you just close the door like that, and you can see the raptor. All the way around. So he does fit in there. I've also seen people use these for their Jurassic Park displays as well. and do some comparisons 
And so we have comparisons with Velociraptor Blue and the Pyroraptor. And here's Ghost next to the Therizinosaurus. And Ghost next to the Allosaurus. And here's Ghost next to one of its running mates, Tiger, and alongside Sonia Santos. So overall, this is a, a very cool looking set. You, not only do you get a, a, a nice little backdrop, a cardboard backdrop for fake photography or whatever it is that you decide to use it for, but you also get a canister, uh, a triceraptor, and you get a human figure along with a couple accessories. So for the price point that you're getting for all this, this is a, a very good looking set. And it's a, a must have for anybody that's collecting the Jurassic World Dominion figures, you know, to go along with their other movie collections. So I, I do highly recommend it, you know. The, the raptor looks great. You know, the figure, the human figure looks good as well. Like I said, the, the human figures that come with these packs can be a hit or, hit or miss because sometimes the eyes or the lips or any kind of the paint job that it comes on along on the face that doesn't always look great, but, you know, it's just one of the luck of the draw, I guess. But anyways, so comment down below what you think of this uh, pack and um, what's your favorite thing about the whole thing. Do you like the backdrop? Do you like the... Uh, the canister that comes with the raptor or the human figure. Let me know. And don't forget, where's the wisdom? Buy what you love and not what you like. Because if you buy what you like, you always end up getting rid of it. And I will catch y'all later.